this garden was supposed to be exclusively a strawberry garden. I got a little excited and I planted a tamarillo in there. I've moved the tamarillo here and she's doing very well. Uh, and now <laughs> this garden is housing some blueberry cuttings. They are large cuttings, so I'm going to keep a good eye on them. But they've been dipped in Clonex, which is just the rooting hormone that I had in the shed. Um, and I just wanted to show you just the absolutely sensational colours that these blueberry bushes have come in. It's obviously a few different varieties here. Um, I was given permission to take some branches off a uh, my wonderful, wonderful brother and sister-in-law. And I'm very excited to see what they will bring. I'm really hoping that we get a good uh, take rate, whatever you want to call it. I love this color. Look at that, just beautiful. So hopefully they all take and we end up with blueberry bushes galore. That'll probably relocate, but for now I know that they're safe. And yeah, and of course berries tend to be good companion plants with berries. Very excited, very excited. It may be an overcast day, but I am full sunshine inside as I watch this incredible passion fruit vine springing to life. It's covered. It is absolutely covered in fruit and fruit to be. And I'm starting to see, oh, step up here, starting to see my uh, vision coming to life and it is so satisfying <laughs> I'm really like really beyond stoked with it I can't wait to see this whole tunnel absolutely covered with beautiful purple fruit hanging down these stunning flowers I love this space it makes me feel calm and joyous I really love it our orange trees are laden and starting to color, which is really exciting. I've had a couple come off in the wind and I've just been picking them up and putting them in the fruit bowl and they have colored up nicely. Over here, I thought I'd share this tactic with you guys. I actually had intended to go around all the local op shops before I told anybody what I was doing. Um, but I've, I've used this uh, net curtain to help net my berries. It deters the birds obviously because they the, the white is quite glaring for them and I've just pegged it to my fence and it's protecting our raspberries. Our raspberries are also still going nuts. They are ready to go again. I don't know if it's just that they love where they are or if it's the crazy season that we're living but I'm not complaining. While we're walking around the garden, I will show you these. They are grapefruit and they are growing in bunches like grapes. This tree is not very big. It is going nuts, absolutely nuts. These are a weenie variety, but as you can tell, they are not very small. They will get slightly larger than that. Uh, and they taste like a grapefruit and lemon fruit juice. They're sweet. They're juicy. I just ooh. also very, very excited for these. <laughs> oh wow. I love this corner. It's one of my favorite places. Our black satin blackberries are still going hard. They're flowering like crazy and fruiting like crazy and throwing out new canes like crazy. So I need to do something about their their spreading. Um, structure them somehow. I haven't 100% decided how I'm going to do that. Possibly against the fence. Not edible, but loving seeing our beautiful hebes still flowering. I love that pink one. My monstera over here is unfurling another beautiful leaf to add to its already beautiful leaves. And we've got another purple hebe just peeking out through there. This space over here is um, very very precious to me it's important for me to know that we've got some natives 
I'm going to be coming out here probably later today actually looking at these flaxes and tidy them up a whole lot. I planted these huge flaxes. I probably could have chosen a slightly smaller variety, but uh, in the long run they will cover this fence and give us more um, privacy for sure, but also help to block what we don't want to see. It just means a little bit more maintenance for me, but I'm sure I can handle that. Um, pro tip, the best thing for cutting flaxes is either scissors or uh, a serrated knife. For me, I just use my Victorinox knife. Everything through here is just doing so well. Even this little punga, he looked dead not that long ago. And he sprung to life. So much life. So just a little update on what we've been doing around the place. Still loads happening, always loads happening. And loads more to come. But I thought I'd share a wee bit. <sighs> Truly my happy place.